So here I am, a paying customer on Twitter, no less. My account um, lock came off, I think, a couple days ago, and I logged back in today for the first time in a little over a week. And I sent a message to the person who was able to access concierge level services to have my account locked in retaliation the last time. I said, hey, you're about to find out about the nature of the E3 underground. I hope it was worth it. The moment I hit submit onto that or submit for that little message and there there were no incendiary vocabulary words in there. Um, I like literally within a second, I got a response that said my account features have been disabled. I think for six days or six hours, I can't remember. Yeah, so basically too long, didn't read. Elon Musk is a ghost for the British crown. And as part of being a ghost for the British crown that makes him a loyal subject of the British crown, which means he, Elon Musk, is impersonating being a loyal, patriotic American. You cannot, these things are incompatible. You can't be a patriotic American and a subject of the British crown as a ghost. If you don't know what a ghost is, if you think a ghost is a reference to paranormal activity, well, you can blame Elon Musk for that because that's one rabbit hole he won't go down. Mr. I love going down rabbit holes and I love conspiracy theories. And give me more conspiracy theories, please. I mean, he said this himself verbatim in an interview, probably it was the Alex Jones, I think, Spaces event, where he said all of the conspiracy theories that people had about Twitter were not true, but truer than true, which is basically most of those theories revolved around the Epstein list and the Epstein list clients. And even though Elon Musk is on the record saying that all those theories are truer than true, or truer than true, meaning <coughs> they found evidence when they went in to clean up after Yoel Roth, more like clean up the evidence and sanitize it and get rid of it. Um, Elon Musk still has not released the Epstein list. That was six months ago when he confirmed that the, the conspiracy theories, in his own words, nearly verbatim, were truer than true. And yet my account is locked. I have not made any anti-Semitics like Kanye West, anti-Semitic comments like Kanye West. I have not made any violent content, um, inciting content like Alex Jones. I have not used a horrible slur at Asian people like Tiffany Fong. Um, and I have not sat back and played a fiddle while Rome, Rome was burning like Grimes. Um, these people are depraved. Anybody who, who obstructs your ability to state your case is depraved. There's no reason for that. I don't go around in my day-to-day -day life telling people, Oh, you can't say that. Oh, oh, I'm going to cut off all your ties for communication because you offended me. Or you called me a mean name. Um, it begs the question, if these people are so fucking based, why do they have to block people and lock accounts all the time? Yep, your lack of horizontal consistency is showing X, Twitter, whatever, I, that makes no difference to me. It's just, it's just a fucking platform for windfall wealthy predators like Elon Musk to keep being windfall wealthy predators. Yeah. I have no shame that they've locked my account again. I've none. I, I did nothing to deserve it. I am a retired veteran of 20 years. If you want to talk about a free speech absolutist, shut up Elon Musk. Elon Musk fled, fled Africa when he could have stayed behind and made it better, kind of like Putin did with Russia. Instead of fleeing Russia for a better opportunity in Canada and then saying, oh no, Canada's not working out for my self-interest. I'm gonna have to flee to America. And then, oh no, America's not working out for my self-interest and these fucking annoying peons keep bringing up the Epstein list and asking me when I'm gonna finally disclose it. Like I promised all those times before I officially acquired Twitter, from Parag Agarwal in October of 2022. 
Now I've got to make a starship to go to Mars. Guess what the starship is? The starship is an anachronistic version of anachronistic version of Magellan taken off to the seas. That's all it is. People have been dreaming about flying to the stars for millennia. You know all those like little conspiracy theories about Leonardo da Vinci and little UFOs and shit in the background of his fucking ugly... I, I was never a big fan of the Mona Lisa. It never did much for me. I thought it was drab, dreary, and just snobby. It never did much for me. I've never wanted to run to the Louvre and see it in person the entire time I was stationed in... I didn't want to run to Paris. Let's put it like that. Um, stand by. I need a, ki a sip. It's almost like a kiss. But these, these people are full-blown blown predators. Going back to the Da Vinci thing. You know the conspiracy theories about the UFOs in Da Vinci's paintings? No. Those were people that Da Vinci was dreaming of going to space. Why was Da Vinci dreaming of becoming, going from Argonaut to astronaut? Well, if you know anything about the Roman Empire and, and the Pan-Hellenism that it keeps alive and its very direct ties and consummation, really, with Zionism, that's what the whole Romeo-Juliet story is about. It's a consummation of the, the patrician and the rabbinical classes um, in, what, was it 14th century Renaissance Italy? Yeah, and that's what that story is about. But, um, stand by, I need another sip of coffee. Do be like that. So the Da Vinci with the, with the UFOs in the backgrounds and his painting. No, that was just them saying, fuck, we got to get to the stars because pretty soon we're going to fuck up all the land masses on this goddamn planet. And we're going to need another place to run to, to get away from these peons who keep asking us, why are you raping my children? Why are you selling indulge indulgences to indulgences? That's, you know, if you don't know what that term is, you can think people like Elon Musk An indulgence was something that people paid to the, the church, the Roman Catholic church in order to be pardoned for their sins. And um, it's been inverted and twisted to be a superstitious um, ritual. And it was not superstitious at all. People did not pay indulgences to get into heaven. Those indulgences were paid as hush money for doing what sickos today are still doing to kids. Sexually abusing kids, sexually assaulting kids, raping children, grooming children, you name it, that's what it was, and it's still being done today. And that's why people like Leonardo da Vinci, old Vitruvius himself, um, wanted to get to the stars. They that those those renderings, those rough drawings, were the da Vinci's of the world saying, "Shit, pretty soon we're gonna run out of places to to run to." And we're going to run out of civilizations and societies and communities to um, to schism apart. That's what they, they bring their schisms, their fucking carpet bag, their valise full of schisms. And they run to the next land with their sob story, much like Elon Musk and his family did. Oh, Africa was so violent. We had to run away. We had to get away. Guess why Africa was violent? Guess why South Africa was violent? Because of Elon Musk's father and forebears. And that whole May Musk and Errol Musk are divorced. Please. Please. May Musk is a dumb fucking whore. May Musk is a dumb, frivolous, vapid, fucking, face-painted, jewel-wearing, photograph-taking whore. That's what May Musk is. She's a vapid frivolous cunt who sells self-help books about how to gray gracefully. Guess what my mother would do if, if somebody like Mae Musk gave her advice on how to age gracefully? She would have to stifle her laughter. Mae Musk is about as deep as a fucking mud puddle and Mae Musk needs, needs external attributes 
to make her look beautiful because guess what? Her insides are ugly as fuck, just like the rest of her inner sanctum. Um, so that whole, oh, my husband, he was so bad to me. <laughs> we had to flee to Canada. Please. If you've ever been a domestic violence victim, you would know that having options is seldom ever the fucking reality. Um, no, what these people do when their fortunes are at risk, their fortunes are at stake, they do the old um, tabletop divorce to make it look like they have no ties with the sick person being Errol Musk. They're all fucking sick in my book. I don't need, I don't need Elon Musk to confirm that for me. He's demonstrated it through actions, not words. Um, they just, they, they play that divorce card to divvy up the fucking assets to make sure, you know, if Errol Musk ever gets found out for the fucking ardent fucking Nazi sympathizer that he is, and that his family, his, his next of kin and his children are, you know, they can have a little stash set aside to go run to the next fucking country. Um, so basically, yeah, Da Vinci, I mean, for millennia, great thinkers and engineers like Da Vinci have been daydreaming about getting to the stars to get away from the peons. They wanted to build the next arc with two of everything, two of each kind, meaning what they what they determine is real. So if you're a peon, only way you're getting on that arc is if they need somebody to scrub toilets. Now that they have robots, they won't need to do that. So um, what is gonna be fascinating though, oh my gosh, I would love to be a fucking fly on the wall in Starship when they head out to, to Mars. These people are literally imprisoning themselves and they don't even know it yet. These are people who are driven by bigger, better, faster, flashier things. And they think they're gonna be perfectly fine sitting in a fucking starship for a few years. These people have never have never been made to hold a, a yin pose in yoga. Anytime they're uncomfortable or joy it's not joy gratification runs dry they gotta look for their next big fix hello have you ever heard of elon musk he's constantly looking for his next big fix so what's gonna happen when these people are on a fucking um uh fiery lawn dart hurtling towards mars in 2037 they are going to start fucking mutinying each other like you wouldn't believe they're gonna be bored because they're gonna have bots to take care of everything so they're gonna have plenty of time to sit around and be like jesse cow candace got more money than i did even though money's completely um has no intrinsic value to these people they still complain about it like it does um they these people are going to turn on each other it's hysterical and they don't even have the self-awareness to know it like i can i can already see it like fuck maybe maybe that should be my next book idea a series about people boarding Starship for Mars and fucking falling apart by month three. Are you kidding me? These people need to fly to Burning Man on private jets to feel fucking human for five hours. It, the only way they're getting to Mars is if, is if they've got like a mad ketamine stash and even then people are going to be like, oh my god, he had a better ketamine trip than I did. Now people are going to think I'm stupider than him. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, Elon Musk is going to get his wish when he goes to Mars. He's going to be on Mars in that starship for a few years first. It's going to be hell. Once the instant gratification wears off, and it will, it always does with Elon Musk and his inner sanctum of friends. Once that inner grat that that little glimmer of gratification burns off, oh god. It's gonna be fucking hysterical. Like I, 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 I can already, I can already see this playing out in my brain. It's going to be fucking hysterical. They will probably find ways to Josephus problem their way out of actually landing on Mars. Yeah, they're gonna start. They're gonna start drawing short sticks and playing numbers games. To, to detract from the obvious divide and conquer called mutiny among themselves. Man, 
It's going to be epic. I cannot wait to write this fucking series. Yeah, this is this is happening. I'm going to write a series on this. A satirical series about the people aboard Starship going to Mars. They are literally boarding a fucking prison and they don't even know it. And the best part, the best part is if I shared this perspective with Elon Musk or any one of his inner sanctum, they would look at me and say, you're a fucking lunatic. Mazel tov. Lachaim! Okay, call me a lunatic. I don't give a fuck. I'm still gonna be on Earth fucking laughing, knowing that the, these people are turning on each other. And it's not gonna take much. These people don't take much to turn on each other. You step on somebody's ego a little bit, you out meme lord somebody, you get paid 300 bucks more than the person who only got $25,000 last week for, for ad rev shares. Oh, these people, they, they're transactional and they don't even realize they haven't even, they haven't even figured in the, the sociological, um, attributes and consequences of boarding this starship for foreseeably a handful of years to get to Mars. Because in their minds, they are illuminated, they are rational, they are reasonable, they are logical. In their minds, in their minds. To me, it's completely illogical when somebody like Elon Musk says, I don't care what you think about me. I don't care if you don't approve my $56 billion allowance package for next week. And then two hours later, please approve it. I need all the help I can get. That's not logical. That's not even stable. This is a person who will admittedly come out and say, I don't care what you think until he needs something. And then he cares, but not really. He just needs something. So he's gonna say whatever he needs to say to get what he wants. That's what predators generally do. They're, they're pretty gifted at predation. Um, yeah, anyway, I gotta get going. Um, as an aside, I did, before I, before I logged back into X, I did make a decision. I'm gonna keep it completely satirical on X from now on. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with these fucking snobs. I might even just write my Starship series on X so they can see that peons are laughing at them. They won't get it. They, these people don't understand peon humor, so they don't know how to respond to it. They don't understand peon humor because they're terrified of people like me. They don't like peons. They think we're gross. They think we're untouchable and beneath them and deplorables and unreasonable, illogical, uneducated, ignorant, violent. These people are the violent ones. Ain't nobody from working poor America running Elon Musk down with pitchforks over the Epstein list because they already know and they've known for decades. So these people are the violent ones. Anyway, I gotta get going. Y'all have a good one. Bye.